Hi everyone, welcome to the Zinc Tennis Vlog, and today uh, I'm going to be helping out my dad and uh, talking um, about some topics. And uh, the first one is, um, what do you, what do I like my parents doing during a match? And maybe this could help you a little bit. Um, but for me, I see some parents, when I go to all these tournaments, there's some parents that can get a little over the top and maybe like be a little too much into the match and um, get a little out of hand. Um, but for me, I like when my parents are like kind of not too far, but not too close. I like them in like in the middle where they, um, where I can feel their positive energy. And um, I like when they support me, when I can feel their confidence on the court, because it's a real game changer when you know that someone is believing in you and you, that you know that you can go out there and do it. Um, and then when I get off like a tough loss and what do I like, when do I like to talk about the match? For me, I always like talking about it right away. I feel that when we talk about the matches, I learn so much from them. And if I wait, it might not be as fresh and not knowing everything. But I like talking right after the match because I know that these matches are for later and these can help me so much. And just being in the moment, it can help me. It can help me so much to improve my game. It's a chance just to be better every day. So for me, I know other people like it later because they might be mad at the loss or they might they just might not get the, the whole value of um, talking about it right away but some people are different and like it um, like a little longer but for me personally I like it right right after so I get all the good details we're still on the parent conversation and I want to continue this one more couple more days actually um, we're talking a little bit about you know how to deal with the parenting aspect uh, when you're at tournaments and when you're at practice and, and you know wherever you are you know this game takes a lot it takes a lot of um, you know energy especially if you're playing tournaments in Florida or your section it takes a lot of energy for both the parent and the child um, so one of the things that we talk a lot about in our family is where does negativity come in and I think sometimes perception is everything and sometimes as a parent, what we're trying to get across as what we think is a positive thing is interpreted from the, the son or daughter as a negative thing. So, you know, one of the things that I have to work on is because I have a type A personality is my voice inflection. You know, I can mean the best when Tyler or Lindsay or Kate or my students come off the court. But when my voice inflection is so intense that what happens is, is that they don't take it the same way. They take what, you know, what I meant to be positive and they feel backed up into a corner. So I really had to do a lot of meditation and a lot of, a lot of you know, self-evaluation to not allow myself to uh, you know, have that intense voice inflection all the time. So that's something that I have to work on. You might would have to work on, and I see a lot of parents out there that you know, they'll say, you know, my son or daughter was doing, you know, they were hitting their forehand so well and they were, you know, but every time they came to the net, they could never put a ball away. You know, they used the word never. They used the word always, you know. And I think when you use those type of words, our kids take those in. So kind of like listen to the words that are coming out of your mouth because neg there really isn't a place for negativity in this game because when you're competing, you really need to be all positive, you know, and all hands on deck being, you know, being a team and, and working together. The other thing I want to talk a little bit about is car talk. <laughs> I was a uh, horrible car talker. You know, I remember playing a tournament with Tyler and we played in Pittsburgh and he didn't play a great match when he was 9 or 10. He didn't play a great match. I was pretty upset the way he played. I didn't think that he did the certain, you know, the game plan that I gave him. Da 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 da. da. And you know, it was a four and a half hour car ride, and I didn't stop the whole car ride home. 
And I can tell you from my experience that that was just detrimental to his, his game. We have this conversation to this day. So I really learned from that. And I can't, again, tell you that I'm perfect. And my son did a great uh, video, um, a, a vlog that, you know, where he talks about where he likes to listen to the information right after he's done. So he doesn't mind as long as my voice inflection is good. But some, you want to talk to your son or daughter and you want to find out, like, are, you know, car talk, because they could feel trapped in the car and then they, they can't get out. And that's where the, a lot of the parents like to go, you know, like to go off. So I really advise parents to try to keep it a little bit lighter after the matches and not go so intense in the car and, and make it a, more of a pleasant experience to the tournament, to the practice, or home from the tournament or practice. The other thing I want to talk about is that, you know, I know my dad died in 2008 and I know that he was proud of me. I know that he told other people that he was proud of me, but he really never told me that he was proud of me. And I try to really make it a point on a daily basis, you know, whether I'm, I'm tucking my kids into bed or what I'm doing, is that I really try to make a point to tell them how proud I am of them. And I give them, you know, the example. You know, for example, the other day, um, you know, Lindsay made a mistake. Um, it was just a small mistake. And she came up to me later that day and she said to me, Dad, you know, I, I want to let you know that I know I was wrong and I, and, I, and I am truly sorry. I saw the value in what you were saying and, and I know what I did wasn't right. And uh, I just want to say I'm sorry. So I just, uh, I said, you know, apology accepted, you know, 100%. But I was putting her into bed, you know, later that night and I put my arms around her and I just said to her, Lindsay, I need to tell you that I am so proud of you. So proud of you for A, realizing that what you did, you know, wasn't right, but then being able to come up to me and apologize and to say the sincerity that you gave me is incredible. And I just wanted to let you know that I am just super, super proud of you. And her eyes lit up, you know, it, it, and I could tell that it meant a lot. The parents out there, the kids need to know that they, that our our that our that our children need to know how proud they are that you are of them because I know you are, but a lot of times just telling them and just saying I'm proud of you is fine, but I would love for you to be more specific. Talk about the what they what you they did that you were proud of them and tell them the in, you know the circumstance that you saw them in that you saw that they were so, that you're so proud of them for. I think that, that you, when you do that, you will see a huge difference. So if you're interested, the, the email will be up at the end of this video. If you like what you see, you know, leave us a comment on YouTube or leave us a comment on Facebook. We really appreciate the feedback. We're getting so much for doing these. It just makes me want to keep going. And that's it. Thank you for watching today's vlog.